Hello my loves and welcome to another ASMR Reiki session. Today will be an in-depth cord cutting session. And we're going to be cutting cords with negative self-talk. This video was requested actually by one of you. We'll be doing different kinds of cord cutting. We have scissors. We have the sound of my rings clacking together. And then we also have some crystals to help cut cords. You might also be able to hear some background noises. I live in Mexico next to two farms. Sometimes you might be able to hear chickens, cows, donkeys, dogs. I'm not always able to cut out all of the noises, but hopefully it'll just add to the relaxation. There also won't be any tapping in today's video for those of you who are sensitive to the sound of tapping, especially if you are watching this before going to sleep. So, let's get started. For today's cleanse, as I like to start all of my sessions with a general cleanse, we will be using my tree fork. Some geckos in the background. <laughs> so, Take a moment to come back to yourself, come back to your body. Just notice how you're feeling in this very moment. How are you feeling physically, emotionally? See if there's any places in the body where you can release some tension already. Maybe you have some tension between your brows or right here by the jaw. See if you can soften those places. Allowing yourself to sink into the surface that you are sitting or laying on. And then take a moment to tune in with the sound of the tuning fork. It is tuned to your heart center, your heart chakra. So just allow this frequency to wash over you. Allow it to gently remove any energies of the day that you're carrying with yourself and your aura. Maybe some of the conversations you've had today are lingering in your mind. Maybe you can feel someone's energy in your aura still lingering, still present. Allow the frequency of the tuning fork to wash it away. Softening your energy field, softening your body, Beautiful. 
Now that we've already allowed some of these energies to be removed, I will be gently brushing them out of your aura before we get to the cord cutting. And today's weather is very special because I just found this one today on the side of the road. I have been wanting to find an eagle feather because there's a lot of eagles in where I am in Mexico right now. I didn't want to buy one. I wanted to find one serendipitously. And today I did. So, I will be using this beautiful feather as a sort of comb, an energetic comb. Just gonna gently brush it through your whole aura, starting from the top of your head, and we'll be working our way down. And we're gonna be using this to gently remove any lingering energies from today, so that we can go deeper with our healing. Just remove any of the background noise or static in our field. Good. Moving down the shoulders here. Down the arms. Down your torso. And your back. And then down your legs. All the way to your feet. So now we are going to go a little bit deeper and start the cord cutting section. And I'll be gently combing through and pulling energy with my fingers. And then we'll be cutting cords. And with these healings, it's very helpful if you bring specific situations, specific patterns to mind. So if you have been dealing with a lot of negative self-talk lately, please bring to mind these specific words that you have been saying to yourself and then imagine me cutting them for you. You bring forward your own um, patterns that you're dealing with will actually make this healing um, more powerful for you. So, first I'm just going to gently um, sort of comb and pull through the cords. And even though I'm just pulling them from eye level right here, energetically we will be working with your whole energy field. So we'll be pulling cords from your heart, from your um, solar plexus, your sacral, your third eye, anywhere where these negative words have attached to you. 
most likely that will be around your heart center and your solar plexus. Your solar plexus is the place energetically where our concept of self lies, the way we view ourselves, just very much colored by the environment that we live in, the opinions of other people that we have heard and attached to, and of course the heart center, where our worthiness of love energetically located. So, even though it looks like I'll be pulling mainly from the level of the eyes, I will in fact energetically be pulling cords from all over. Okay. So, we're going to go in with the scissors first. So I'm going to be pulling the cords here. These are the cords that are the strongest, the ones that always come back up, the ones that we have the hardest letting go of and transmuting. Even though we are cutting cords and it looks like a very strong and powerful, abrupt thing to do, we're doing it with gentleness and love and care. So just let it go with a sense of grace and gentleness. A lot of times we beat ourselves up for being so negative towards ourselves. But this negative voice that you hear inside your own mind is not truly yours. A lot of times it's a culmination of words of other people or beliefs that have been ingrained into us from society, from society's standards of what it is to be a worthy human. Or maybe some people have been mean to us in the past and their words have stuck with us. And this voice that you hear in your head is a combination of all those things. So, let's cut the ties with those words, with those hurts. It's time to move on and let go. And you can do it. I believe in you.
have a few more big ones here that I want to snip out before we go a little bit more to the subtler chords. I use some different techniques. next technique to go a little bit deeper and we're going to be focusing more on to like finer chords if that makes sense but using my um, finger scissors <laughs> my um did this one a few months ago and you guys really like the sound of my rings clicking together so i'm just going to continue on go to like the more finer chords and one of the most courageous things you can do is to truly and fully embrace who you are unapologetically being yourself it's the most courageous and most freeing thing that you can do when you truly realize that this is your life and you can make of it whatever you want and you can be whoever you want that is where your freedom lies full acceptance of the beauty and the weirdness of who you are so let's gently cut out any of the doubt any of the pain that we've been carrying it's time to let go now and set yourself free just imagine all the things that you could do if you weren't worried about what you look like what you sounded like whether you're smart enough or not imagine the mental space that would give you so let's give you some mental space right now be playing a little bit more just gently combing through As we remove these energetic cords, just feel yourself becoming lighter energetically. Feel the burden lifting. Let it go.
fingers through her aura, specifically through the attachments and the cords that you have. I also really like the sound of my rings clicking together. <laughs> okay. So now we're gonna go one layer deeper and work with the really fine cords that we have. I really want to take my time during this healing session to go very deep and be very thorough in releasing these cords. So the ones we're going to focus on now are maybe very small things that we pick up every once in a while when it comes to um, the way we see ourselves in a negative light. So these are not the ones that we constantly hear in our mind when it comes to negative self-talk. They're a bit more of the smaller, like far in between kind of things we say to ourselves. But they're still there. And we want to let go of it all. So we'll be working on the really fine cords. And even though on their own, they They don't hold much weight, even though they can be hurtful or painful. We still want to remove them because collectively and over time, they do have an impact on our energy and our well-being. So, we're going to go in for the fun court and I will be using my flower agate crystal point. Let me see if I can get my camera to zoom in on it because I want you to see the beautiful details of it so take a moment to connect in with the crystal notice its beautiful pattern Notice its beauty. Just allow yourself to connect to the energy, to the frequency of this flower agate crystal point. We will be using it to sever these final smaller cords. It looks like little flowers, little petals got trapped in this crystal. It looks like the crystal is in bloom. And that's exactly why I chose this one for today's session. Because from the moment that we let go of the heaviness in our aura, the heaviness in our mind. We give rise to the energy that we have within us to bloom. We create this energetic space, this energetic freedom to now rise upwards to flourish. So that's why I wanted to use this crystal to sever those last few connections to remind you what is to come, to remind you of your potential to bloom. So, we'll be pulling the last few ones, I'm just gently severing the connection right there at the root.
sticking my time here. I just want to make sure that we're through. And there's no rush. We have all the time. Okay. I think one of the most fascinating things of becoming an adult is realizing that becoming an adult has a lot to do with unlearning. Unlearning the things we have learned throughout our lives. Coming back to who we truly are. For the world told us who to be or who not to be. Embracing yourself. Sometimes that is the scariest thing, right? Just embracing ourselves for who we are. And that's okay. We're all here together doing the same thing. Just trying our best. few more. We're almost there. If you're open to it, I invite you to, after the session, take stock of your life, of the people in your life, of the information that you're consuming on a daily basis and ask yourself whether it's adding to your happiness, to your mental well-being, or whether it's taking away your confidence, your happiness, your joy. Are the people in your life building you up or tearing you down? Is the information that you're consuming through social media or other platforms, is it building you Make sure that you surround yourself with people and things that see the best in you, that believe in you, instead of surrounding yourself with things that make you feel bad about who you are, make you feel you're not worthy or not good enough. As we're working with the energetics here today, make sure you also look at the material and the physical things in your life, like the actual people, the actual information, situations you're getting yourself in, and do a little bit of decluttering in that area as well. <laughs> Just a suggestion. Going in with my eagle feather again to gently remove any remnants, any last little particles of energy that might still be lingering in your aura.
I'll be doing some Reiki on you. But first, I wanted to draw a few Reiki symbols to help energetically activate the session. To also ensure that it can reach you beyond time and space for whenever or wherever you need it. Sure. Since we have been cutting a lot of cords, we have created a bit of a vacuum uh, in your energy field where we have kind of removed out those attachments. So what we want to do now is um, apply some energy healing to it to allow those gaps to close back up or to create um, a sort of perfect, fertile little space for healthy attachments to come in. And of course we'll be using Reiki for that, but they also want to bring some um, plant medicine, I guess, into it. I have some tea tree oil, which for the physical body is really good to disinfect and to um, help and support the healing system. And so we'll be using this as a symbol for energetic healing as well. This is tea tree oil. If you don't know what it smells like, it smells very um, fresh. And it kind of reminds me a little bit of um, eucalyptus. It's in the same sort of scent family. I wish you guys could smell it. <laughs> But it's really good to um, treat any sort of cuts or um, uh, like infections that you might have, like pimples that you've popped and that need healing. It's also good for yeast infections, lice, dandruff, scalp, sunburns, old wounds, warts, rashes, bruises, cuts, burns, bug bites, itching, skin irritation, and it says here on the back. So, I'm just going to be applying a few drops, maybe three or so, on my palms, and I'm going to be rubbing it in. respiratory system. I feel like on an energetic level, tea tree calls in new, fresh energy, which is exactly what we want. So, I'm going to be placing this in front of your face, and we're just going to take a few deep breaths together to really allow um, the healing of the tea tree to sink in. If you have tea tree at home, Feel free to actually place it on your hands as well. So, take a deep breath in through your nose. And then a full exhale out through your mouth. Good, long deep breath in. Long exhale out. Slowing it down even more. Inhale. And exhale. Really good. So, 
Now I'm just going to be applying Reiki to those roots and those cords that we've just cut. And we're going to be focusing on healing those roots from where we have cut the cords. Allowing your energy field to become whole again on its own, to heal itself. And just energetically feel your own wholeness. Feel the fullness of who you are. Breathe into it. Allowing yourself to soften into your own being, soften into who you are. You can let go of your heart shell now. We invite in a different perspective, a different point of view of ourselves. One that is more loving and kind. One that is graceful and wholesome to ourselves. May we see our own beauty, our own worthiness. May we see how vibrant and alive that we are. How worthy we are of being a part of this human experience. How worthy we are of being alive here on earth. May we remember who we are and what we came here to do. My dear loved one, I'm sending you so much love. So much healing. Okay. So, that was the healing for today gonna gently brush through your aura one last time. more of a bounciness, more integrity. Allow yourself to take up space, to spread your energy a little wider, a little further.
think of my love I hope that you enjoyed this ASMR Reiki healing I will see you guys very soon